But in the meantime, I'm still stuck at home and then just cover half the ball. We're working on the stroke here. Let's move right into the video. Okay, so same concept with the swing. So things like what I was saying just now, like with this chipping net, it's the same with like trying to make that putt. I feel like it's more like a game, something that you can pass time and have fun with. But if you actually want to improve your golf swing, you can actually do the drills that you've been doing at home. And I think that will be more beneficial even if you don't actually hit balls. What you're trying to do is implement the swing feeling in your body or whatever it is, whatever you call it. It's What you're trying to do is, it's a dry drill, right? So you're just trying to get the motion. So if, like for me, you guys know that I've been working with the ball. So for me, even though obviously I can't hit an actual ball to see where the ball is going, but me just hitting swings with the ball like this and getting that feeling. Okay, because the camera's there, I can't take a full swing right now because like I said, if I take a full swing anywhere, I'm going to break stuff. But I have a space that I can take a full swing. I don't hit like a driver, obviously. It's just, just take a wedge. What you're trying to do here is just get the motion. It doesn't really matter what club you hit. Whatever you can swing, I'm sure you have enough space to like be able to swing somewhere in your house. Or if not, just go outside. If you live in a condo, just go to the corridor and do whatever your drill is. It could be this or, you know, some people put like that towel under their armpits. That's a good connection drill as well. Or, you know, if, for instance, one of my other drill is my feet not being square. That's something I can do as well. There's a lot of things that you can do at home. Basically, whatever you would do at the driving range, I'll do it at home. And the only difference is that you can't see where the ball is going. But that's going to be a much better practice than like, you know, just trying to chip into a net. Because, well, like I said, unless this is outside and you can put like towels on the ground just to practice your carry distance, I think that's different. But like for me, I can't even hit a proper ball. Like the balls that I hit are these foam balls, which like don't do anything. So... Sometimes what I do is I set it up over there and I'll show you guys what I can do with my full swing. But that's basically how I practice my full swing. And what I'm really trying to do is just keep doing the same thing that I'm doing when I am able to go and practice and just doing it at home. And the best way to do it is just even if you can't hit a ball, if you don't have these balls, you can just do it without hitting the ball. But because I have that little mat that I bought, so that's the one thing that I bought before this lockdown that... Because the last lockdown, I wanted to do like swings and I had to like hover it a lot because I was obviously too scared to hit the ground. And it's all like this marble ground. And if I hit it, it's going to crack. So that's why I bought that little mat thing, which I think is actually quite beneficial. So that's something that I would invest in. If that and a putting mat, the chipping thing, again, it's just for fun because you're not using a real ball anyway. But let's go over and see the drill at work. So the way I've set up my little practice thing here is this net here, which is what I was talking about. I mean this mat, sorry, not mat. Um, I am 100% sure that no matter how hard or how high I swing, I'm not going to hit this fan or that light. <laughs> so very important to make sure of that. And then I close this up. So this curtain becomes like my net thing that I'm hitting into and like I said these balls are foam balls okay do not do this with real balls because if you break anything in your house it's not my fault so as you can see it's just emulating what I would do at a driving range and just doing the same thing trying to hit this ball with this ball between maps As you can see, it's not going to break the sliding door. It's not going to break anything up there. It's a foam ball. When I bought this ball, it was like a Japanese brand ball and it said that it's not going to fly more than like 10 meters or something. Obviously, I don't have 10 meters to see if that's going to happen. But because it's just one of these light balls, it's just not going to fly very far. So it's good. And you can see if I swing this harder... Doesn't break anything, still working on my swing. 
doing basically the same thing that I would do at a driving range if I wasn't in a lockdown. And it just helps me work on what I am already working on, which is the drills that I have been doing for a couple weeks now. But whatever your drill is, you can just do that. Okay, I'm taking a seat. I don't know why I'm panting. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, this, this I don't know what you actually call this, smart ball or twist or something. Oops, can you hear me? Okay, but anyway, if you have this, I would encourage using it because I don't think you can really make your swing any worse by using this. It might not have the same benefit to you as it does to me, but I feel like in general, it's a good swing guide tool thing. And no, I'm not being paid to say this. I bought this from like Lazada, which is where you can buy it. I don't know, Lazada or Shopee or Amazon or whatever. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think the real one is quite expensive, but this one was like 15 ringgit or something like that. And all it really helps, I mean, you saw my video, right? All it really helps with is that connection with my arms and not over-rotating my hips too fast, which is just causing that out of sync mo movement. So that's what I'm working on personally. Again, it might not have the same benefits for you, but it's whatever you are a drill is. I'm sure if you have something that you're working on, you can just do whatever that drill is at home and just doing a dry practice versus, you know, trying to do these chip games, which as I said, it's fun and it's more of like to pass time while you're in lockdown. But it's not really something that I feel like it's going to benefit your game. And the same with the putting. Like, you know, if you have that green one, which is what most people have, the one of the two holes and just the line, which is what I had as well. That one, I think working on your putting stroke versus actually trying to make the putts because, as I said, it's on a mat, so it's not really going to do much for you making the putts. It's not the same speed as a normal grass, and it's just not the same feel. So I, I feel like it would be better to just use the ball and just make sure that your roll is good versus like you know trying to make putts because if your roll is good you are going to make putts so yeah other things that you can work on is just your swing swing plane so swing, yeah if you watch my video about hold on let me put you down here so if you watch my video about chipping something you can do at home if you don't have a particular drill that you're working with right now is to just work on what I talked about with regards to the chipping stroke I mean chipping movement because the chipping stroke whatever you call it chipping action is just a small version of your full swing and if there isn't anything you're working on it's always good to just work on making sure you have like the right swing plane and stuff and one of the things you're going to start with is right here, from like here to here, right? Which the start, even though obviously the most important is how you come down, how you impact the ball, everything is a result of the other. So if you have nothing to work on, okay, what you can do is, well, I have tiles, so I can kind of follow the tiles. If you don't, you, just, you can even put an alignment stick down like you would a driving range. And just like kind of what I said with chipping, just feel that no wrist move, like motion, movement, whatever you want to call it. And you can even wear shoes to make it more realistic. It's up to you. You can even get dressed up in golf clothes just to have that feel of like playing golf. I don't know. But just have that motion of feeling of like, okay, no wrist connectedness. Making sure that you are on the right plane, you're not like here or there, you know. And you can do this while taking videos, so you know exactly where you are, where you need to be. And once you are able to go back out on the driving range and you can actually hit balls with it, you can see whether it actually implements into your swing, or maybe you can, once you go out to the driving range after your lockdown or after your weather problems or whatever it is. You might see that your swing is actually better than it was before, and that's because you were actually doing purposeful drills that is actually going to help your swing versus you know just hitting into a net or like doing things like this. 
which as I said is good for fun but it's not really going to help your game so so yeah that is pretty much all I have for you guys I think you can really cater this to your whatever you're doing at home and additionally something that you can do to work on your swing at home is work out I mean you're always trying to get stronger everybody wants to hit it further and I feel like the stronger you are actually the more consistent your body is going to be able to perform so it's never a bad idea to work out to get better for golf and that's why you can see I have a ton of weights outside because these are all things that I didn't have before and things that I decided would be a good investment especially during this time when gyms are just not the safest place to be and well, even here, they're not open anyway, and I don't know when they're going to open again, and I can't really leave it up to like, okay, I'll just wait and see what happens. Well, that is weeks, maybe months, that I'm not going to be working on myself and working my game. So I think you personally need to think about this and think about what kind of investment you want to make, what kind of investment into the game that you want to make. Um, you can spend this lockdown doing nothing, or you can spend it getting better. So, And as I said, this is something you can do forever. You know, you can do that, you know, hitting, even if you don't have a, a window that you can hit to, whatever, you can just do the action. To buy that little mad thing, just do the action, feel as if you're at a driving range, emulate it, you know, you can even visualize it and work on your mental game. Think about it, really put yourself in pressure situations while you're at home, just do as much as you can. And I truly believe that it will translate into your game. It just takes practice and 100% is better than doing nothing. So I would say that whatever you can do, we're all in a weird situation right now. So I think that you can just do the best if you can with what you have. And if you don't have a mat and things like that, I didn't have that for my lockdown, which was like three months long. So I think you guys could see that I did a lot of um, just swing work, just taking the club, swinging, imagining like I'm in a driving range, just imagining the ball flight, <laughs> imagining playing golf, you know, something that, I'm used to doing every day and not able to do for weeks on end. It's just weird. And we all know that with golf, you need practice. You can't run away from needing practice. So just do the best of what you can. I hope you, this video was entertaining. I hope it helped you guys, kind of show you guys what I've been doing and how you guys can improve your game at home as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you guys next time.